Hey everyone, welcome back to Crypto Empire, where we dominate the crypto market. My name is Connor. In this video, we'll be revisiting the Monad airdrop. As the testnet is still live right now, that means mainnet isn't live, there's still time to get this airdrop. Let's get into this step-by-step -step tutorial on exactly what I'm doing to get the Monad airdrop. Let's go. So when it comes to the Monad airdrop, all we're doing is using applications on the testnet. And if you haven't watched my first airdrop video that I made at the end of March 2025, I'll leave a card right here so you can go ahead and watch that one. However, this is going to be building off of the first video we've already done, as there's some more applications we can use now. But you should know that it's more of the same. All we're doing, again, is just testing out the different applications on the Monad testnet at the current moment in time. So the first thing you need to do is get yourself testnet monad tokens and this can be quite a pain there is the monad faucet right here and you can see you need to have at least 0.03 ethereum and i've done at least three transactions on the ethereum mainnet and you can get one request every six hours so they have some things in place some criteria that you must meet in order to get some testnet mon tokens and you can only get one every six hours and they don't even give you a full token so it's extremely hard to get testnet monad this is the biggest hiccup that people are experiencing when using the monad testnet this is why it's so important to be following me specifically on x just earlier this week i ran a massive giveaway i gave away 10 mon to five people as well as some whitelist spots for the atlantic public sale but we'll get more into that at a later date all you need to know is that testnet monad it's very hard to get i've been giving it away make sure you follow me on x at c sell crypto so that you do not miss the next giveaway also make sure you subscribe to the channel as well because i actually announced this in a live stream all right so if you're having a hard time getting testnet mon tokens be sure to follow me but you know use the faucet reach out to any friends that might have a lot of testnet mon tokens this way you can actually go ahead and use the testnet and successfully farm this airdrop now let's go ahead and move on in regards to the monad blockchain itself just in case anyone's not aware of the magnitude of this project and what it actually is so they went ahead and raised 244 million dollars over the past few years and they have some very well-known silicon valley vcs behind this project everyone knows this guy right here naval everyone's seen this guy's face before this dude here Anyway, he was a seed investor as well as a lot of other big VCs, right? Seed investors raised 19 million in 2023. And then in 2024, they raised another $225 million. So again, this is not some small time Joe Schmo project. This is a massive VC corporate chain. And a lot of money is being put into developing it. And of course, they want to build community, which is why I do believe they are going to be giving an airdrop. So this is Crypto Rank. It's a really, really handy website. I recommend you guys check it out on your own. I will leave the link to this page in the description down below. Crypto Rank actually went ahead and they put together a full Monad airdrop guide with all the top applications on the blockchain, on the testnet. They leave links and everything. So I'll leave the link to this in the description down below so that you can follow it on your own. As you can see, it's an airdrop, but it's potential right now. Nothing is confirmed. All right, so don't get it twisted. I'm not saying this is a confirmed airdrop and you're for sure going to get free money for just doing this. No, that's not the case. There's the potential for that to happen. All right, so please understand that. Anyways, let's get into this. And a lot of these applications, I, I showed you how to do that in the last video already. Okay, so again, make sure you watch the first video. It's going to help get you started quicker. And a lot of these applications, I've already shown you how to do it on video. Now, there are some other swap platforms such as ZK Swap. And here you can see that they do actually mention Atlantis. Now, Atlantis, in my opinion, uh, is one of the top DeFi projects on Monad building right now. And here's the application. So what they've done right now is they've introduced trading cards. They've introduced NFT trading cards. It's all on testnet. So it's it's on testnet. It's not like real mainnet stuff. But it's really, really cool how they've gamified it. So in order to mint an NFT, you need to do 20 swaps, 20 regular swaps. And I'll show you how to do one swap right now, right? I want, I have Monad tokens. I want to swap to Atlantis ATL. So I can just swap a very small amount. I can swap 0.01 Mon 
for some ATL. And as you can see, all I need to do now is confirm the transaction. And there we go, that's one swap. Now in order to mint an NFT, you need to do 20 swaps. And the rule is you can mint one NFT every three hours. Now on this wallet, I've gotten pretty lucky, right? I've gotten the Emerald Tablet, which is an ultra rare, or a legendary. I've gotten the God of Atlantis and some regular ones as well. Now because I have a mint, I'm gonna mint it right now on video. I wanna get another one of these legendaries just because it's fun. So let's see what I get. Let's mint an NFT. And let's go ahead and confirm it. As you can see, the network fee is zero point, it's more than the actual cost to mint, which is 0 0.01. Okay, I got a citizen of Atlantis. That was my first citizen of Atlantis. Um, but you know, not not a not the pyramids of Giza or the planet of Nibiru where the Anunnaki come from. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to keep swapping. And we're going to have to wait another three hours on this specific wallet. But really fun, guys. Go ahead and check out Atlantis on your own. And also be on the lookout because they have a lot in the pipeline right now. As you can see, in terms of this NFT campaign they're doing, 150,000 NFTs in total have been minted and 3 million swaps have been executed. This is the most organic traction I've seen on any application personally. Uh, on, on the Monad testnet. So uh, all organic. It's really, really insane what's going on. Definitely check out Atlantis and follow them. This way, when they do release the information for the public IDO, you will be first to go ahead and hear about it. I also did a Twitter spaces with them the other night. You can go ahead and watch it or listen to it. I mean, either from my ex account or their ex account. But anyways, definitely check out Atlantis, guys. Let's go ahead and move on. So another huge app is going to be APR Labs, uh, a priori, which is essentially just staking Monad. And I showed you how to do this in the last video, but we're going to revisit it because it's just really, really useful. And, you know, this is probably one of the most popular applications on the entire chain. So all we're going to do now is we have Monad and we want to receive APR Mon. This is just liquid staked Monad token. So all we need to do is type the amount we want to stake and I hit one and as you can see, I'll re I will receive one and I'll just click on stake. So here's a weird message I've never seen before. Any blockchain developers can le let us know what that means, but let's try refreshing the page and see what happens. Okay, we're going to disconnect this and reconnect our wallet. And this is good to see, right, guys, because a lot of times you guys might get your own technical difficulties when you're doing this stuff. And it happens, especially on the Monad testnet. So here we go. I just refreshed. I, I disconnected my wallet and reconnected. And now, as you can see, it works. It worked. There we go. Deposit complete. And now if we want to withdraw, we can. All right. So I, I put in 0 0.05 before and I just put in one and I can withdraw it now. But we're actually not going to withdraw it. We're going to take this APR Mon and we're going to go to a different application. We're going to go to Curve Ants right now, powered by Wormhole. And what we can do here, let's go ahead and we'll start from scratch. Let's go. Once you go to this website, again, I'll leave all links in the description down below. But you're going to want to click on you're going to want to click on Launch App. So we'll hit Connect Wallet and we'll click on Phantom because that's what we're using. All right. Bada bing, bada boom. Here we go. We're connected. Now we can go to the faucet. And on this faucet, we can claim different tokens on the Monad testnet. So I'll just hit claim all right here. And you can do the same on Atlantis. I showed you how to do this in the last video. But it's good because we can use this for liquidity providing, which is just going to be more transactions on the actual blockchain. All right. So very easy. Just hit claim all and it claims them all for you. So what we want to do now, this is like a lending and borrowing platform. It's a DeFi protocol. So what we want to do is we want to deposit and then borrow against our deposit. So we have staked Monad. So we'll click on this. And here we go. We can deposit APR Mon, which is why I just showed you how to do that again. 
So now we'll hit deposit over here on the right, like so. Cool, there we go. And as we can see, apparently we don't have any APR mon here. Let's see if we can figure something out to have it show up. That's quite odd, isn't it? As according to this site, we have 1.05. So we want to keep our APR mon. Let's refresh this page. Hmm. Well, you gotta love when it doesn't show. I'm definitely doing something wrong, or am I? Makes you think, it really makes you think. Whatever, we'll try something else. So anyways, we just clicked on wrap Bitcoin here. And here on wrap Bitcoin, again, we can claim this if we go to the faucet on on Atlantis, you know, we can we can claim this wrap Bitcoin. You know, we can claim it from these other applications. We can claim it from Curvance. So that's how we got wrapped Bitcoin in the wallet. So we want to deposit some some now. So let's go ahead and deposit 0 0.05 or 5 million Satoshis. And we can do that. We'll approve that transaction. And we will hit continue and then confirm the deposit. And confirm this transaction. like so there we go success as we can see here in the bottom right of the screen it says success asset deposited and posted successfully that's exactly what we want all right so now we can lend <clears throat> or we can sorry we can borrow against that um as we can see we can borrow it up to thirty eight hundred dollars so let's say we want to borrow I don't know, 500 bucks. We'll hit continue, then we'll borrow. And we're borrowing against that Bitcoin we just put in. Of course, this is a loan. If you don't pay it back, well, they're going to come for you. But anyways, not really. But it's test net. But, if, you know, they'll take your, uh, your collateral if you don't pay the loan back when it's real money. But that's how we use Curve Ants, lending and borrowing. We just deposited an asset and we borrowed against that asset. There's a lot of other cool stuff we can do, but this is the basis of it. Play around with it on your own. Get familiar with it. Now we can do other simple stuff like just use ZK swap to swap. So we can just click on that link and it takes us right to the Monad testnet. We'll just connect our wallet and we want to make sure we connect Phantom because that's what we're using. We'll hit connect and you know we can swap a small amount, swap it. Like this, there you go, All right? It's, this is super simple stuff, guys. All right, so I'm gonna leave the link to this down in the description below and you know, go ahead and use these applications on your own. Do the stuff I showed you how to do in these videos. And if there is a Monad airdrop, you should be qualified for it. You should get it if you follow the steps. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. So in this video, we covered step-by-step -step how to get the Monad airdrop utilizing the Monad testnet. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure you let me know by smashing the like button down below. And also, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Like I said, I'm going to be doing a lot more giveaways for Monad testnet tokens up until the mainnet does go live. So guys, make sure you're in my live streams, you're following me on X so that you don't miss the next giveaway. Last giveaway, I gave 10 Mon to 5 people. It's a huge giveaway. That's a lot of Monad testnet tokens. Make sure that you're subscribed and you follow me on X so you don't miss the next one. My name is Connor from Crypto Empire, and I'll see you in the next video.